Hello everyone! Today I'm going to share with you some Montessori inspired elephant theme preschool activities. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a retired teacher, wife, mom, and a grandma. I love putting together activities for my grandson. Today I'm going to show you some of these activities and as usual I will be sharing some free printables with all of my subscribers. Thank you all so much for watching my videos. We're going to start by reading lots of books about elephants. A lot of these books are from my local library. We're reading from National Geographic Kids. We're reading about baby elephants. We're going to reread this one. We read it last week, just a little bit. It's a picture book. I can't wait to read this one, Grandma Elephants in Charge. We're going to read that. We're going to read Strange, Elephant Strange and Wonderful. And we're also reading Elmer. I really, really love this book. This is about an elephant. His name is Elmer and he's not like the other elephants. He's um, like a patchwork elephant. He was made of all different colors. It's a beautiful book. So we're going to go ahead and read this. And we're also reading two books from Elephant and Piggy. Two. I put together this uh, flashcards. These are perfect for vocabulary building. I have words with a short E sound beginning short E sound, elephant, elk, egg, elf, empty, elevator, elbow, and envelope. So we're going to be looking at our cards and looking at our words and Another thing that we're going to do is I'll probably pick maybe four of the cards and review vocabulary and do an object matching activity. What my grandson's going to do is match the card with the little object. So elephant, elf, egg, and elk. This is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. created this printable to go with the story of Elmer and so what my grandson is going to do he's going to be putting some of this square color tiles and just put them all over on the elephant and just have lots of fun with the little color tiles. If you don't have some of these color square little tiles, you can use pom-poms or maybe some of these little counting chips. These are actually from the dollar store. There's 75 little chips and this was a dollar. also going to do this activity. I created this printable. I put a tin frame 
on this elephant I'm using some magnetic numbers and I'm using some of the little colored tiles so we're just going to count nine and then we're going to put nine of the little tiles and we'll do several numbers so it will be a number quantity activity this is a free printable I'll go ahead and link it below Another activity we'll be doing this week is uh, letter recognition. I created this printable. It's some um, peanuts and I put the lowercase letters and this is a paper sack. This is a picture of an elephant. Just glued it there. Made a little hole here. So what my grandson is going to do is just uh, feed the elephant the letters so we're going to be doing that this is a free printable I'll go ahead and link it below another thing that you can do is have your child match the uppercase letters with the lowercase letters if you have um, magnetic letters you can do that Another thing that we'll be doing this week is practicing our cutting. I went ahead and created this printable. I'm going to have my grandson practice cutting the lines. This is a straight line, it's a little bit curvy. So we'll just practice our cutting this week. This is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. also going to work on our learning notebook this week we're going to color the letter E we're going to trace the letter E and then my grandson is going to find and color the letter E I found this uh, counting elephant balance it's from Amazon. I had a $25 gift card, so I went ahead and got this for him. I got him two toys this week. This one um, was $15.99, I think. Super cute, y'all. It's got the cute elephant. It comes with um, the numbers. And it comes with this really cute elephant. So... What you do, you put a number here and then you count the little elephants. Like I have two there, one, two, and then you put three elephants. So it has numbers and it comes with the little elephants and it also comes with these really cute cards. Let me show you. This game comes with about 
52 little cards. So there's some number cards. Your child can um, use the little elephants and do one-to-one -one correspondence with these. There's also um, little addition cards. So you can also do that with your child, like two plus one. You can use um, the same numbers or you can use magnetic numbers. There's some easy addition that they can do. Super fun. This is uh, from Amazon. It's counting elephants um, from street walk. Super cute. We're also going to be using this learning toy. This is the Snap and Learn ABC Elephants. This is from Learning Resources. It comes with 26 little elephants. Each elephant has a letter of the alphabet. They're super cute. They're easy for my grandson to put them together. What we're going to do is try to form some CVC words. I'm going to be using some of the peanuts and we're going to form some CVC words like cat. So he's just going to get the little elephants, put them together, C-A-T. Cat. So we're going to be doing that and he's also going to spell his name with the little letters on the elephant. Super cute game from Learning Resources. I think I paid $14.99 for this on Amazon. this little puppet it's a paper sack and made some little ears from construction paper and then just glued some little googly eyes so we're just going to play with our little elephant hand puppet and we also made this little elephant this was um, toilet paper roll and we just uh, cut it and made a little elephant and we also made this elephant this is from um, a paper plate this was a paper plate and we just cut here and here and this piece we glued it right here and we color that and put some googly eyes and we made an elephant. So these are just some fun crafts that your child can do. We're also going to be tracing our letter E. This is a free printable from The Measured Mom. We're also using one of her free printables. This is um, a do a dot activity. E is for elephant. This is also from the measured mom. Or you can use a manipulative. Whatever you have at home, 
These activities are perfect for preschoolers as they're picking up their manipulative and as they're forming their letter, they're using their little pincer grasp. So this is a great activity for preschoolers. This is a free printable from the Measured Mom. We're going to be using this printables. This is a packet of elephant and piggy activities and this is from totschooling.net. She offers a lot of really neat activities. This first one is some um, alphabet cards. You can cut them or you can leave them like this and your child can look at the letters or you can do matching if you have a uh, lowercase letters your child can match the lowercase letters to the uppercase letters my grandson is going to be doing that I'm not going to cut them I'm going to leave them like this I probably am going to put them in a sheet protector so we're going to be doing that with this first activity. She also has other activities here. There's lots of activities, but let me just show you a few. So the first one is the alphabet. She has this uh, do a dot with elephant and piggy. She has um, this one. How how many are in each row? So I would probably use um, magnetic numbers. And so we're just going to be counting. This one is a pattern. So I laminated this one. And so we're just going to see what comes next. Super cute activity. She also has this one. This one is letter sorting and she offers this page and then here's the letter P and the letter E. She has the uppercase and the lowercase so you would have your child cut these and then just sort the letters here. There's also the missing alphabet and you're just going to put the letters that are missing like you put A, B, C, you already have the D and then EF over here. There's a tracing activity. This one is a matching activity. There's lots of cute activities. I really like this last one. It's a tic-tac-toe. So we're going to be playing that. And here's elephant and piggy. So you just cut these. I will probably laminate this and so my grandson and I are going to play tic-tac-toe. So this is uh, free printables from totschooling.net. You need to go and um, find the printables yourself. totschooling.net I hope you enjoy the activities I had for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.